<laughs> that, that was the strat that Ofer was talking about. Okay, that might explain the difficulty. That might explain the difficulty and also the lanterns being... I just defeated this shrine way too early. The spirit mallet is bloody awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, but if that gives you a shard, basically a charm notch, that is an absolutely amazing reward. Ah, <sighs> well, if this is thus not the shrine that Ove was talking about, uh, let's climb back up to the surface and see if we can find that shrine. And also, it's perfect to combo. The first swing knocked them up, followed by the faster attacks. Ah, uh, all these shards, they are going to offer so many different playstyles, I believe. Like, right now we're using the mallet, but what about that star, the, the blaze thing? It's so much is going to be possible, and I'm loving it. Well, anyway, time to use a little bit of the magical video editing. So that we don't fail here, and easily climb back up to the surface. And with that little detour, we have returned to over. Hi, friends. Uh, yeah. How much does it cost, by the way, to improve the next skill? Oh dear, 800 and 1200 foot shock smash. Drop attacks with spirit smash create a shock wave. Wait, like... The drop attack that I'm doing right now with this. But then a shock wave like what with the enemies we just faced? I want that. I want all those abilities. I am going to be in need of a whole lot of spirit lights. <laughs> okay, so, um, clearly that was not the shrine you were talking about. That's a rumor you were talking about. According to over a shrine stands in Inkwater Marsh near the entrance to Quallox Hollow. With a breakable floor as well. We know how to break through those as well. Yay for experimentation. Uh, which for now means let us explore. Let's see what we are dealing with and Hi, what are you? Um No clue. Also it says I can can I go through here? No. It says there's a floor below here. Can there must be must somehow be able to get through that, right? The cap, no, ah, yeah, go, go away. What is up with me and randomly finding stuff like this? I was wondering, there must be a way for us to somehow get through this place because it is linked up on the map. No, you just break the side. And of course I break the side because I'm trying to destroy an enemy. Okay, where are you leading in that case? And do I want to know? Or is this going to cause me lots and lots of trouble? Blue Moss, hi friend. Okay, let's see. What are we dealing with? Bouncy mushrooms? Long time to... Is that spirit light over there? Oh, that is freaking spirit light. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, large spirit light container. Okay, 100 in total. I'm okay with that. Every little bit counts. Oh dear. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Just play it safe. Play it safe. And... Are we hiding anything? We're hiding Gorlek or... Oh, come on. Up higher. Thank you. Four of them in total. By the time we meet this... Craftsman or whatsoever, we're gonna have a lot of work for him. Um, let's see, can I? Yeah. To this day, I still wonder who ever built these kinds of contraptions. Oh, uh, can I reach you? I don't think I can. No, there's n there's no way I can jump high enough for that. Um, in the meantime. Hi, friend. Are you going to explode in my face once I try to get past you? Yes, you are. How about we don't do that? Honestly, that's just uncalled for. Okay, so this is... This is the combat shrine. 
Well, if we defeated the last one, this one should be easy peasy, right? Or at least, so I'd like to imagine. I mean, okay. You're a decently bit stronger. Sort of, but nonetheless. I've got the combos right now. I know what I'm doing. This is so much easier. I'm not sure in that if it's a testament to my skill or luck that I managed to complete the previous challenge. But, friend, can you get over here? Yes. Little buzz bug. Come on. There we go. And heal up. Just in case. Because you never know. Oh. And that's when we would have been taught about your existence as well. And the big boy. No. Honestly, the whole spirit smash is just brilliant. That was so much easier. Oh, and if every single combat shrine gives you a chart slot upgrade. I was about to say charm slot upgrade. Um, that's brilliant. But I... Oh, um... Inventory, nice. Quest items, first keystone, how fine. Oh, there is a lot of stuff left to do. I'm okay with that. Oh, and... Eight in total? So three more to find. Oh, we can do that, we can do that. But we don't have any more shards to add on to our... I'm not going to ask that question again. I asked it in Hollow Knight and I still don't know the answer. Ah, uh, That's awesome, that's absolutely awesome. Um, which means map quest. We can go down here, explore the breakable floor. Um, is this going to lead me anywhere? Anywhere interesting? Or is this just my way back up to the top? Yes, it is. Alright, in that case, I want to see. There is apparently a breakable floor in this area. And anything else? The one-shot potential of the mallet is just brilliant. Goodbye. <laughs> God, that... It's just so much fun to use this. The combat feels so good. And even more spirit light. Uh, I wonder, why do you respawn? Please don't respawn. Please don't respawn. Please don't respawn. Goodbye. Huh, okay. Um, I'm wondering, by the time I get enough spirit lights, should I instantly use it to purchase something new or should I wait? Because, sure, Gorlek ore can be used to repair structures or something. But is it only going to cost Gorlek or also going to cost Spirit Light? It is the currency after all. In the meantime, another Life Cell Fragment. Thank you very much. Uh, that means everything over here is explored. We can't reach that one. So let us go up here and see what we can do. Alright friends, I see you lying in ambush. I disagree with that notion. Entirely. Ow. Really, the whole exploding stuff is just bloody uncalled for. Go away. Uh, so, these blue fruit lanterns, what are they? Why are they blue? That's what I'm wondering. And what are you? Um, Spirit Trial End? Oh... Okay, I've got no clue. That's something for the future, because I can't reach that. Yeah, no, no way in hell. Um, in the meantime, though, hi, breakable wall. Did I just come into the wrong way? I possibly did. I possibly skipped a fair bit. No. Please go and visit the spikes and the brambles. Thank you. Okay, did I miss anything of importance anywhere? Yes. Good job, face plant against the spikes. Even I couldn't have done that any better. You and I both know that that is a lie. Ah, oh, really, the movement in this game is just brilliant. And we haven't even unlocked the bash yet. Which really makes me wonder, when are we going to unlock the bash? Oh, oh. Hold W to swing, then press space to perform a swing leap. 
really. Oh, honestly, I haven't even got the bash yet, and already this game is. This is a true successor to Ori in the Blind Forest. This is a really good sequel to the point where I'm at this point I'm already thinking that this might actually be better than the first game this is absolutely amazing and meanwhile friends go away have a mallet to the face why is that so satisfying why is that so bloody satisfying okay uh, where would this be going just normally down um, I possibly could get off we're here. Hi. Okay, I was not meant to do that. Can I reach that normally? Yes, I can. Okay, awesome. For a moment I thought, hey, there's a secret there, but no. Okay, then what else have we got? We've got spirit light over here. Can I get that? Can I get that without dying? Oh, the spikes over there. Is that... Ow, that's going to <laughs> propel me right into them. I'm not sure what else I was expecting. That was the most logical outcome. But luckily, health and... We've got five health in total right now. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's see. What else have we got? No clue what that is. It's a race flag. There are races as well. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Combat shrines, race shrines... This game is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. And you need to go. Most of most of me avoiding enemy attacks is pure luck. And otherwise it's just a little bit of skill. But mostly luck. Um, hi. Uh, what are you up there? You're, you are not an energy shard. Clearly. Huh. Can I get... To you? No, not really. Okay, something for later. Something for later. Uh, in the meantime... Moki! We Moki saw the little owl fell. Near the home we left behind. Silent woods. Scary woods. Honestly, the Moki are just cute. Ah. Uh, Koo, I really hope you're okay. Just a little owlet on its own in a very dangerous wood. Qualak is kind. The Qualak can help. Who is this Qualak? And also, are you guys responsible for. Whoa. Are you guys responsible for building these kinds of contraptions? Because you know how to use them. Um, that is a bloody big terrifying statue. Is that... Is that Qualok? Kinda terrifying. Uh, anyway, talk. Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Oh, the gaze of the great Qualok admits only the worthy. Or so legend says. Of course, this isn't Qualok. It's just a statue, hmm? Huh? Oh, come to think of it. It doesn't have any eyes either. How's it supposed to gaze at anything? Oh, some legend. Bah! Well, in that case, maybe we have to look for its eyes. Oh, the great Qualok is no mere legend. No, he is quite real. Oh, and the light left the spirit willow. And decay spread through the land. He was watching. Okay, so Nguyen also had its very own spirit tree, which was the spirit willow. And the decay spread through the land. Okay, if it weren't for him, the Moki might not have had a place to go where the, when the woods were, where the user live grew too dangerous. So Quala kept this place in check in that case? That's why they call Qualok their guardian. He kept the decay at bay. Not for now. 
how though? How can one keep the decay itself at bay? If the spirit willow went without lights, which caused this blight, this decay to spread. This Qualloc is powerful. Uh, but in the meantime, um, hi, what are you? Are you going to open this thing up? You're draining the waters. Really, whoever made these structures and can I meet them, please? Because they are still one of my big mysteries about this world. And yes, I see you, little explodey glob friend. Oh, and you don't... You don't even drop down on him? Really? Come on, friend. There we go. It would have been awesome if they dropped on enemies as well, but yeah, no. Oh, wait. This was what we were before. Cool. So all the waters right now are gone. So are you one of those eyes? Oh, there's one down there as well. They might they might be the eyes I'm looking for. Uh, I see a spirit tree. Or a spirit willow. Hi, what are you going to teach me? Spirit arc, bow and arrow, hold Q to science, uh, fire away. What? Okay, um, I'm gonna put you on. <laughs> oh, that is. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. Oh, uh, that's when you hit those things. There we go. Aim and. Nice. That is really. No, wait. If if there's a platform like that down here. Oh, oh, oh sneaky. Uh, energy cell fragment. Thank you very much. I will gladly take that. Uh, at the same time. I need many more of them. Many, many more. <laughs> Maybe I could have grabbed a few. No. There was no way to get either of these three. Ah, I need more spirit energy. So... Oh, can I just... You can most likely also use this to normally attack at enemies. Huh. So aim, hit that. Oh, it would help if I was standing on top of that. There we go. Aim at it. That's it. That's it. So this takes energy. And at the same time, power it up, power it up. Does it do more damage? No. So... It it maybe increases in range a little bit, but all on that, it is still the same amount of damage that you're dealing. Can you go away? Thank you. So, same amount of damage. Um, what do you do in that case? Hi. Oh, are you going to be on a... You're going to be on a timer as well. Can you not? I would like to not let you be on a timer. Ah, it's awesome to have a thing that is both for this kind of platforming and also for combat. I wonder if we can upgrade our our weapons. Um, hi, are you? Yup. And you are one of the eyes I'm looking for. Eye stone. This curious eye-shaped gem would fit nicely into a stone eye socket. I'm sure it will, but that means we need one more, and I am slowly beginning to run out of energy. Uh, oh, oh no. Really? You expect me to do that? Uh, okay, I maybe need a little bit more to the side. There we go. And... Brilliant. They stay open, right? Like, the, the others didn't stay open. Or didn't stay permanently. So some of them stay open, others don't. Interesting to know. Which means we now have two of these eye orbs. Which means, let's give this statue its gaze back. And, and the chanting saying Quallock's name. Oh. 
so sweet. Oh god, I'm loving this so much. Alright, let's see. If this is the path to Qualok in Qualok's Hollow, where the hell are we going to end up at? Greetings! Who are you? Twillen. Uh, uh, the glowing stranger my customers speak of with such awe. Oh. But tell me, is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? And uh, not really. I have met many curiosities on my travels after all. Oh yes, some fall, some fly, some prowl and some slither. Uh, but all our customers, you see, are just customers who want spirit shards. Few shots, few upgrades. I can upgrade my stuff. Oh, so nice. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so if I can upgrade, then well, then what have you got for sale? Energy, gain one additional energy cell, vitality for life cell, uh, and you can level those, those up as well. Cool. Whip cling. Uh, well, wing clip. Deal bonus damage to flying enemies. I'm encountering more and more flying enemies, so that might be handy, but the mount is doing a good job. Uh, we've got finesse. 10% chance to deal 50% bonus damage. That sounds like a good one, like a critical hit. Uh, we've got overcharge. Reduce energy cost by 50% and increase damage taken by 100%. Oh, wow. Okay, this was what I was hoping for. If you add overcharge, for example, reduce energy costs, that makes the usages of all those abilities that Over was trying to sell us much more manageable. Sure, at the cost of increased damage, but if you do that with resilience or something, you can negate the damage output or the damage taken a little bit. You can create all kinds of different playstyles for yourself. That is really cool. And then we've got sw swap maximum life and energy. <sighs> I'm loving these. Okay, but we have only got one ability slot. Also, I can't buy these two. Um, I'm gonna go with Finesse. The idea of a critical hit of some kind sounds really pleasant. So, I would like to purchase that one. Thank you. Do I want to go about upgrades and such? I. It's a shame that you can't actually upgrade. Or you can, but... I don't think I want to. Sure, 20% chance makes it even better, but again, I might need the spirit light for the future. And if you stay here, then I will always be able to find you. And thank you for your pat patronage. Yes. Uh, can we also normally talk of any kind, or...? Ah, you met the feather traveler. But well, not yet a customer, no, no. Are you talking about talk? He might be talking about talk. Oh, he doesn't quite agree with my way of appreciating such ancient temples, you see. Yeah, you're more of a pilferer, and he's more of a appreciator. Yeah. Ah, but what a waste there would be, leaving my dazzling shards to lie useless and forgotten. Oh, even so, I grow weary of the hunt. Or perhaps I will find some place to set up a proper shop. Some place less dank. Well, maybe. Well, in any case, if you find a place, please tell me, because I would love to purchase more of your shots. Of course. Thank you, Twillen. God, this game is getting better and better. Okay, so. <sighs> of course. Of course you have to be nearby. If there's contraptions, you know there's crushers. Oh dear god. Okay, fine. You shoo go into the water. Um <laughs> Okay, this is so awesome. Okay, can you also shoo go away? Uh I need to open this door up. You're a purple eye. No doubt are you linked up with each other. Okay. I got that, I got that. Uh, in the meantime, let me see if I can find my way through here. Talk to a Moki and all that kind of stuff. 
Hi. Oh, you are a spirit, yes? I have seen your ghost. My ghost? No, no, it's true. There's a place where the ghost spirits run and play. I tried to race them once, but uh, I'm not so fast. Oh, God. So, spirit trials, new rumor. According to Emoki, curious pedestals reveal spirits of the past. That is this stuff. Spirit trial ends. So, wait. Um. Wait. Somewhere over here, underneath over, was a thing that I saw that I didn't know how to interact with. Might that be one of those spirit trial things? But if so, then this one is maybe linked up with this. Because if there's one all the way over here, there's no way that links up to any of these previous areas. Huh. I am interested. And I see you. Live cell fragments. Um. How do I get to you? It's behind here. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay, there is no way you can reach that. No way, not even with a trip pole jump. Don't tell me. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, I'll gladly take another life cell fragment. That is well hidden. Thank God for the map being a thing. Okay, which means, uh, in the meantime, time for us to travel back upwards. Uh, let's see if we can meet this Quallock. And if I have to make a guess, just a small guess, he's a frog. Quallock, they're great and mossy, if the Nokia are to be believed. Seems like a true legend. Perhaps even on par with the spirit of the forest. Hopefully this guardian knows where Ku is, because she is still out there, all on her own.